So hi everybody, um, I'm back inside today. Um, let's try and uh, have a class. I I don't know if the kids will stay downstairs, let's see. Um, so for today I wanted to do um, different combinations of uh, kicking without putting your foot down in the middle um, for sparring purposes actually. Um, and also to build the strength in your legs. So uh, we, I haven't done a warm up totally. Like I warmed up just a little bit. So um, we're going to include a warm up in this session. Um, and I'm only going to do one session this week because I had to go to Dubai and I had lots of things to do. So it's just one session this time. Maybe hopefully a little bit longer than half an hour. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you don't need to do a warm up before this video. You can warm up with me. We're going to do some kicks up and down the room. Um, and every time we reach the other end of the room, we're going to do some um, exercises for warm up. So we'll warm up slowly with those kicks that we're going to use in this class. And then, um, and then we'll use them. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Right, put it. King it. Okay, let's start just with um, bandai chuggy up and down the room. Uh, very loosely. This is just a warm up. Don't um, don't overdo it. Don't overstretch yourself. Okay, just very loosely. Okay, bandai chuggy. For those of you who don't remember, knee up, turn. Kick, it's 45 degree kick. So you're not turning all the way round, okay? Knee up, turn, kick with your uh, toes pointed. Okay, let's go. From one end of the room to the other. Keep going. And that, pull it, set. Okay, keep going, go into that. If you need to, we're gonna, I'm going to do two lengths and then I'm going to do an exercise the other end. Okay, now that we've reached the other end, let's do some warm up exercises. Let's do squats. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to stick your ass out and don't go over the knees, okay? Don't do this, it's not correct. You need to bend this way, okay? Ass up. Yells up. Ego. Hyoroi. Ow. Okay, let's do some kicks again. And this time, same kick. This time, in between every kick, you're gonna go down and stretch. So once again, slowly, do it slowly. Don't make any sudden movements. You're just warming up. Okay, and that. Okay, keep going, turn around and keep going if you don't have a large room. Five, six, 
and the other way, seven, eight. Same with the arms around round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one arm moving forward and the other arm moving back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side, this arm forward and the other arm back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Next, same thing up and down the row, this time, Koyo Chogi. So that means not just Handao, it's not just half a turn, it's going to be a full turn so that your heel is facing the target. So bring your knee up, turn your body, not just to here, but all the way around so your heel is facing the target. Keep your toe pointed, kick, and put it down. Okay, so once again, start at the side. You're going to go up and down. Ready. Now, all the way. Turn all the way with your foot, fa the heel facing that direction. Pure. <laughs> Keep your balance, <laughs> not like me. Bend your knees. Okay. Hit. Same again, the other way. I'm going to change legs because I need more practice on the left side, it seems. Now. Pull. Hit. Again, we're not moving very fast. We're just warming up, okay? Awesome. Okay, now we've reached the other end. Let's do some exercises, other exercises. Jogging on the spot. Try and touch your knees to your hands. She tap. Keep going. Keep going, 10 more. Okay, paro, good. Same again. This time, toyo chogi again. Okay. Do the same as before. Okay. Kick. And the same one. Okay, down into this stretch. Remember in this stretch, your foot should be pointing at the sky, your other foot should be flat on the ground, and your elbow should push your knee out. If it's really hard, you can put your hands down in the middle. Okay. Same again. And that, hold your chuggy, and stretch. Tori, Toyo Chuggy, and stretch. Set, Toyo Chuggy, stretch. Okay, let's go back the other way. Same thing. Again, I'm going to start with the left leg this time because I feel like I need more practice on it. And now, Two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ankles the same, round and round, one, two, three, four, the other direction, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side, round and round, one, two, three, four, and the other direction, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do the same thing, nearly, with yop chuggy. The yop chuggy is gonna be one of our kicks that we're using today. What is yop chuggy? So for yop chuggy, what is it in English? Ah, somebody said sidekick. Good, it is sidekick. Good. Okay, bring, for this one, you bring your knee up. Then, in your, your feet, your other foot is at your knee. So you turn to face this way. So your body, the side of your body is now facing the front. You kick out, and as you move your kick out, you turn your standing foot to face target. Okay, so this one is not kicking with, not kicking with the top of your foot, it's kicking with the side of your foot, the knife edge. Try to pull your toes back when you do this kick and keep your bum in. Okay, your body straight. Knee up, turn, and then turn your heel towards the target. Kick out, keep your body straight. Not like this, I don't wanna see this. I wanna see a straight line between your body and the kick. If you see from this direction, yeah, as well, I'm pulling my toes back, okay? All right. We're just going to try that by itself, up and down, like we did just now with the other kicks. Okay, so yop chuggy on my count. Nap. Hoor. Hit. Okay, going to keep going. Try and keep your balance by bending your knees. Keep your center of gravity low. Pour it. Hit. Okay. One more. One more. Hit. Okay. Good. Now, let's do some like stretches going to be doing some high kicks as well. So let's stretch the legs. The first one should be straight, push your knee. The back one should be bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side, front leg straight, back leg bent. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, oh, we've already done this one. Don't need to do this one. Okay, front leg bent, back leg straight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knee down, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and turn. Okay, back leg straight, front leg bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knee down, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. Now let's try. Same thing. Yog chuggy. But we're going to add that stretch in the middle. So we've done the stretch quite a lot, which should help us get our kicks nice and high for the next part. Okay. So we should be fully stretched in the groin area after we finish all this. So hopefully we don't injure ourselves in the rest. <laughs> okay. So yacht chuggy, and that, and down into this stretch. Okay, so we stretch this one a lot. Pour it. this to the side. Knee up and then I always imagine I'm stepping over something. Step over something and come down on the top of someone's head. Um, you're basically coming down with, maybe I can show you, this part of your foot. Some people do it with the heel. I was taught to do it with that part of the foot. So that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> Okay, so once again, knee up, step over that wall here, and come down on top of someone's head. Okay, just up and down. If this is difficult for you, just do it loosely to start with, because you might not be fully warmed up. Okay, keep going. Yours up. Here you go. Here you go. Out. One more. Here Very nice. Let's just check. This is warmed up. We're going to do a few legs to the outside. And 
legs to the inside. So, to the outside, like that, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now eight on the other leg. Come on. side seems to be better than the other. I'm going to try one more. Oh, balance, Shelly. Okay. Excellent. Now side kick. We're going to do the same thing. Then we're going to try some side kick continuously. 
So, the side kick, low middle. Okay, yup, Teddy, the one we just did. Okay, so that means turn, low, break someone's knee, and then middle without putting your foot down. Okay, she, check. Oh, too high. <laughs> I want to do this one high. <laughs> Keep going. Keep turning that standing foot all the way round for the second kick, okay? It's a little bit like the other one where the first one is just a slight turn and the second one is a full turn, okay? Keep going. Nice. Now, same thing, middle high. Again, if this is too difficult, just do as much as you can. Be careful not to fall over when you do the high one, okay? Be careful. Um, do it slowly if you have to. She, check. <laughs> also not satisfied with my own. Okay, one more. Keep going. feel as good on this leg. <laughs> okay. So the next one, side kick continuously going forwards and then going back. So this is going to be interesting. So you're going to face the direction where you're kicking. Turn. Yop, chuggy. But don't put your foot down. So this one is great when someone is um, attacking you and sparring and it's, it's called checking okay so you do checking without putting your foot down but you jump along so again be careful not to fall over bend your standing leg okay and you're going to go forward while kicking okay when you reach the other side you're going to go backwards while kicking. So the first one is to push the other person back and this one is to defend yourself against someone who is attacking you. Okay, you're going to keep trying it with side kick each time. Okay, let's try it. We'll try the right leg first. So put your right leg back and then I'll say she jack and you can go into the side kick position. She, check. Keep going all the way forward until you reach your wall and all the way back. Okay, obviously my backwards one was not particularly good. Um, you still need to try and extend. Okay, I did not do that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the other leg. Okay, left leg now. She, check, check, okay, and back, okay, let's see, we're going to do a few of these, <laughs> so get your breath back, okay, 
Okay, if you have a long room, you can just keep going. I don't have a long room, so. Right leg. Keep looking at your target. Keep looking at your target. Okay. The standing foot should have the heel pointed at your target. And preferably, unlike me, you shouldn't be jumping too high. You should really be sliding back. Okay. Same the other side. Okay. Ready? Oh, I'm going this way. <laughs> okay. Left leg now. Same thing. She tap. for a while. Okay, one last time on both sides. Okay, let's practice this. This is very a very good one for sparring. Okay. Ready? She tap. Okay. Last one. She tap. <laughs> so a great way to practice this when you're sparring is to have someone with the pads moving forwards and moving back and forwards and back. And so you have to check in their direction. And if they're coming forwards, you move back. If they're coming back, you move forwards and so on. Great, good work. So the next one, we're going to do Nelio Panda Nelio Tree. Okay. So do you remember what they are now? What's Panda and Chaggy in English? Right, it's 45 degree kick. What's Nelio Chaggy? Yes kick. So we're going to do both of those without um, without moving, <laughs> without putting the foot down, should I say. Okay? So for this one, you're going to go to the middle with Panda Trigger, and then with the same leg, you're going to get someone in place. Okay? We're going to try this off the back foot and off the front foot. Okay, so up and down the room. Remember panda, keep it there, keep the knee up and axe kick to the face. Okay, ready? In your arm time. She tap. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Very nice. We're going to try the same thing off the front leg. So this one can be done from standing. So you're just going to stand still. Stand still. So you're doing still hand chuggy off the front leg and then axe kick without moving. This is a great one for sparring. Someone sees you come in with the panda, show you don't ex they don't expect you to just come down on their head. So let's try it. We'll do 10 on each side. Okay, so ready. And up. And back. Tour it. And back. Okay, off the front leg this time. 
Preferably not on the way down. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, once again, we'll stand in the same place because the leg is coming right round. You don't need to step for this one. Okay, so once again, off the back leg to start with, and then off the front leg. So we're going to pandal with the back leg. And that, kick, and crescent, and come back. Okay, tour it, kick and crescent and come back. You can move forwards on this one if it happens to be the situation when you're sparring, okay? Okay, maybe try not to wait so long in between the two kicks. See, I landed in front that time. Standing 
is what's hurting, not the, not the other ones. Okay, let's go. And that. Okay, yes.
your spa. <sighs> okay, so let's do a little bit of stretching and that's it. Good, good one today. I think, I hope. You've used your legs a lot. Okay, let's go down. Keep your legs shoulder width apart and feel the stretch. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. And back. Look straight up. And down again. Mm. Okay. Good. And up. Okay, I feel like I need some more stretches down there. Do this one. Okay, try and push those knees down if you can. Breathe out and go down. And up. And one more time down. Another great one. Maybe you won't find it great, I find it great. Okay, is to have one leg stretch out in front with your foot pointing at the sky and the back leg behind you. Even just sitting like this can feel already like a stretch. Yeah, it's sometimes quite difficult to do this. So you're gonna go down and try and put your chin on your knee. Don't bring your knee up, keep your leg down and stretch from here. If you can only go this far, it's okay. Just feel the stretch, yeah? We use this quite a lot today, so I think it's good to stretch out. Okay, and try and go down. If it's really easy for you, you could go down to the side here, in the, in the middle of your legs. Try and put your chin in between if it's super easy. Or, if it's really easy, try and push this leg back a little bit and try again. Okay, but there's no shame in this being a little bit difficult. This is a difficult stretch. Okay, the second one, try and put your stomach down in the middle. Again, if you can't go very far, it's okay just to go to here, keep your back straight. Yeah, keep your back straight and try and put your belt on the floor. Um, and just stay here. If you can feel that stretch and it really hurts, don't, don't push it too far, don't hurt yourself. But if it's really easy, try and get your belt on the floor. Again, if, um, and remember to try and keep your foot pointed at the sky, okay? Either the foot has a tendency to roll in on this one. You can push your own knee out here and you can push your own knee out here as well. But try and get that belt onto the floor. Okay, very good. Oh, that feels better. Okay, <laughs> and change legs. Okay, so this one's gonna go straight this time. This one's gonna go behind you. Get comfortable. Sometimes I need to massage myself if I feel myself sort of seizing up a little bit, getting old. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, get used to the position because even the position might hurt sometimes. So, now you're gonna try and put your chin on your knee. Don't raise your knee. If you can't do it, just bend from the waist and get down as far as you can. If you can do it, put your chin on your knee. If it's really easy, go down to the other side of your knee, okay? And again, you can push that other knee back, okay? And get a good stretch. Okay, and now, hard one, <laughs> down to the middle. Once again, don't worry if you can't get down. Just 
bend a little bit at first. It took me ages to learn how to do this one. It took me years. So there's no shame in being just here. That's where I was. I was flexible when I first started. And this is where I first started. So um, there's no shame in being just here. And if it's easy, go down and try and put that belt on the floor. Mm, this one hurts. Okay. And make sure that foot is pointed at the sky. Push your knee out if it isn't. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's going to hurt tomorrow, I think. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh. Bring the knees up if you can still move your legs and roll them side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I still want to do my favorite strip, which is this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. And stretch. Stay there. If you can do a full arch, you could do a full arch if you like. For me, I find this one easier. I used to be able to do the other one really easily, but now my back won't, won't bend <laughs> so easily. Okay. And breathe here. you enjoyed it it was a long one today and quite hard so well done if you made it to the end yeah <laughs> see you next time